Faced with a tough economic environment made worse by an unprecedented jump in oil prices, few sectors seem to offer the needed answers for potential reprieve. Much optimism is, however, invested in Uganda's oil and gas sector, especially at this time where it is transitioning from exploration to development and later production. The final investment decision is the point in a project's development where the companies decide to invest a significant amount of money to develop and construct a project to take it to commissioning. And so the final investment decision in the context of Uganda is the point in which the companies decide to invest 15 billion US dollars in the oil and gas industry in Uganda uh, for the development of the industry. To put that in context, the national GDP of Uganda is approximately 35 to 36 billion. And therefore, the final investment decision is an investment of 15 billion US dollars, nearly 40% of Uganda's national GDP in one project. Uh, this is the single largest investment in one project in the history of Uganda. The discussion is, however, shifting to how much of that will be retained within the country. So uh, we at UNOC consider ourselves to be at the front line of ensuring that national content uh, remains front and center in this oil and gas industry. Through the seat we have in these business interests, we ensure that all the contracts uh, give consideration for national content and where necessary, uh, give consideration first to local goods and services. And even where possible, that contracts are unbundled to ensure maximum participation. So therefore, we consider ourselves uh, the first ice in terms of ensuring that uh, this investment goes to uh, local content. Uh, of course, we do this in conjunction with all the other institutions in the oil and gas sector governance. Uh, this includes our sister institution, the Petroleum Authority of Uganda, as well as our ministries and shareholders, the Ministry of Energy and the Ministry of Finance. At the back of the announcement of the fine investment decision, government says it is stepping up effort of arming the local business community with skills and tact to play in the industry. As the Petroleum Authority of Uganda, we've also, we are also implementing a project funded by the African Development Bank to train 200 SMEs to prepare for the opportunities. And when we talk of opportunities, we are not only looking at uh, the direct opportunities in contracting and providing goods and services, but we also have indirect opportunities and then also induced opportunities where the bulk of opportunities for our country. Uh, so we are not only looking at uh, direct benefits from the projects, but we know that there's going to be an influx of people into these areas that will need different services, hospitality, accommodation, tourism and the like. So we want our SMEs to be ready to provide quality services. The participation of local players, according to government, is now grounded in law and policy. The government of Uganda has made uh, provision for such companies. Uh, the first advice that we would give such companies is to please register with the National Supplier Database. This is a database uh, through which all local goods and services can register and therefore express their interest in participating in the oil and gas sector. It allows for a situation where oil companies who are coming into Uganda can start to look and understand the availability of goods and services in Uganda. Uh, this supplier database is hosted by our sister institution, the Petroleum Authority of Uganda, and is alongside another database called the National uh, Oil and Gas Talent Register also hosted by the Petroleum Authority of Uganda. Uh, through these databases, it is important for Ugandans to make themselves available and to register their interest in participating in the oil and gas sector. Uh, this is the advice that we would give. With the country's key economic fundamentals now considerably challenged, notably through raising inflation and borrowing rates, coupled with a depreciating shilling and low effective demand, experts have placed their bet on the oil and gas sector as the potential silver bullet to turn around Uganda's fortunes.